I was just an ordinary boy, brought up in a working class family in a parlour house in the River Hill Road. I went to Orangefield Primary School and I got the cane every day because I couldn't learn the spellings. She made an appeal and said, all the young people who come to the front and say, I'm here Lord, if you want me, send me, I'm willing to go. And I was one that went forward. So I went home and told my parents, I'm going to work in the mission fields. My father said, mission fields? You'd be lucky if you get as far as the potato fields. At the end of my first term, the staff called me into their sitting room and they said, don't come back. You'll never make it to the mission field. Yes, I remember when the boat came into Belém, we got our first view of Brazil. And the first thing that struck me was I saw a sign for Coca-Cola. I couldn't believe it, you know. For me, it was an adventure, a trip to Brazil and all that. It was worse for the people at home. I went to work in a very small town called Canatama. And then I discovered in almost every house in that town, there was somebody who had was hidden away. Some of them were afraid they were going to be taken prison and put in the leper colonies. I knew that I didn't know anything about medicine. I had to do something. But I've always had it very hard to talk to people personally. But one thing I did always, always, and everywhere, I mean, the headwaters of the river I had a box of Bibles with me. And the phone rang, and that was a doctor from Vandana. He said, I got the result of your blood test, and you have to see a hematologist tomorrow. It's very urgent. And yet the Lord has done so much for me in my life, and it is the Lord, and I don't want he has to have all the glory because I was nothing, just the Lord stepped in.